Little Blue Riding Hood, written by Andrea Kaxmare. Aren't you supposed to wear a red cape? Wolf jumped out from behind a tree in the leafy green woods. Oh, you scared me. Little Blue Riding Hood shook her head. And aren't you supposed to eat grandmas? Well, I don't eat grandmas very often. A big fat chicken or a goose is much better. Wolf stared at the little girl's basket. I like cake too. He licked his lips. Little Blue Riding Hood stopped too. Well, these cakes aren't for you. And anyway, I'm fed up with red. I think blue suits me much better. Wolf came a bit nearer. What kind of cake have you got? All grandma's favorites. Cherry cake, chocolate cake, crunchy biscuits, bread, eggs and lemonade. I'm still a wolf, so I'd better steal that basket if you don't mind. Wolf snarled his scariest snarl. But I do mind. I'm not going to give it to you. Little Blue Riding Hood stood up tall. You can have a slice of cake and a biscuit, but that's all. That means two slices of cake and five biscuits. Wolf did a very scary long growl. But I'm late. Grandma is expecting me. We are going to have a picnic in her garden. Little Blue Riding Hood handed the wolf a slice of cake. A picnic? That sounds like a lot of fun. Am I invited too? Wolf stared, walking along with Little Blue Riding Hood, gobbling down his slice of cake at the same time. I've never heard of a wolf at a picnic. Little Blue Riding Hood laughed. <laughs> what can you bring with you? Something nice? I'll think of something, but I'm not sure if it will be nice. Wolf grinned his scary grin. Something nice, please. <laughs> little Blue Riding Hood laughed again and skipped up the path to Grandma's little house at the edge of the woods. Wolf disappeared and Little Blue Riding Hood knocked at Grandma's door. Grandma was pleased to see her. I have been sewing a lovely surprise for you. Grandma smiled. But first of all, let's have our little picnic in the garden. Grandma and Little Blue Riding Hood set out the bright picnic cloth at the back of the house. Grandma had made some blueberry muffins and she sliced up the bread to make egg sandwiches. The two sat and smiled at their lovely picnic. We might be having a guest. Little Blue Riding Hood shook her head. Wolf wanted to come, but I told him he had to bring something nice. The two of them laughed. Wolf will eat all our cakes, Grandma said. He won't bring anything. He'll just eat everything. Suddenly, just at that moment, Wolf jumped out from behind a bush. Did I hear my name? The two jumped up, scared. Don't do that. Don't do that. They had split the lemonade. I brought something nice. Wolf handed over a bunch of straggly flowers that looked like they had just been pulled out of the garden in a big hurry. Now, can I have some cake? Wolf picked up a pour full of muffins without waiting for an answer. The trouble with having a wolf at a picnic is they just eat everything fast. But luckily, they can't open biscuit tins. So that's a help. What's my surprise? Little Blue Riding Hood turned to Grandma. She could see a little parcel out of the corner of her eye. Grandma handed her the little parcel. Little Blue Riding Hood opened the paper slowly. She really loved surprises. Oh, 
she held it up and smiled. A new cape for my walks in the wood. But this time it was a new colour too. Not red like her old cape, not blue like her new cape. What colour do you think it could be? This new cape was pink. A lovely bright pink. My favourite colour. Little Blue Riding Hood smiled from ear to ear. Now I have such lovely capes in my favourite colours. And what about me? Wolf didn't like to be left out. <coughs> Do you want a cape too? Grandma laughed. Or just more cakes? Wolf smiled. But a wolf smile is a bit scary. Now Little Blue Riding Hood is sometimes Little Pink Riding Hood but that depends on which cape she is wearing. Little Blue Riding Hood has a real name too. Maybe you can guess it. Little Blue Riding Hood's real name is Lily. Wolf has got a name too. Well, it isn't really a name but it's what all the other animals in the woods call him. Big Bad Wolf. Wolf likes that. He thinks it makes him a bit extra scary. Wolf suddenly remembered his name and decided that he had been far too nice about those cakes. Those cakes are all mine. Wolf growled his extra scary growl and grabbed the basket of cakes as fast as he could. Grandma looked at Little Blue Riding Hood and Little Blue Riding Hood looked at Grandma. Wolf, now that he had remembered his big bad name, had gobbled down all the cakes. Grandma shook her head. That's the trouble with a wolf at a picnic. Little Blue Riding Hood looked at Grandma. Wolves just aren't very good at sharing. It's just as well that my new pink cape has got a nice big pocket. Little Blue Riding Hood smiled a secret smile at Grandma. All the better to hide a few biscuits and cakes away from a big bad greedy wolf. Grandma and Little Blue Riding Hood had a lovely picnic but poor wolf that big bad wolf wondered why the stolen basket really only had a few cake crumbs in it. Oh dear.